Hey, No Code Ops, Phil here. And today I'm joined by Marie from Tally, who's the co-founder. Marie, welcome to the show. Hi, Phil. Thank you so much for having me. So great to have you. Um, so I'd love to learn uh, more about Tally directly from you because I've heard about it all over Twitter already. Uh, you're taking the forms market by storm. So it's really exciting to watch uh, from the <laughs> sidelines, but would love to hear directly from you. What inspired uh, y'all to build Tally? Yeah, well, um, we, we started building Tally. It was around one and a half year ago. Um, and maybe good to know we're a team of two. So we're bootstrapped. We don't have any external uh, funding. Um, so we were very small, uh, but we like to move fast. Uh, and when in our previous jobs and previous uh, startups, um, we never really found a forum builder that really fitted our needs. Um, you. I mean, it's a very competitive space, right? So you either have um, the bigger players that can get quite expensive and they have like paywalls whenever you collect a lot of responses or you create a lot of no a big number of forms. And that's something that we really didn't like. It's like a very limited experience. Um, and on the other hand, you have like the free alternatives like Google Forms would be the most well-known one. Um, but there as well, you don't really have a lot of customization options and we didn't really like the look and feel of it. So we thought, you know, maybe in that in that really crowded market, there's a, a small place for us, uh, uh, some kind of niche that we can carve out. Um, and we just wanted to create a really simple form builder. Um, I'll show, show it to you in a minute. Something that is really easy and fun to use um, and that can help you create like any type of form uh, in seconds, basically. Amazing. Well, on that note, yeah, I'm excited to jump in. Uh, do you want to just take over screen share and just yeah. walk through an aha moment that a user would have in the product by way of building a form? Perfect. All right. So let's jump in. Uh, this is Tally. As you can see, you can kind of start from a blank page. Um, so that's a big difference with other form builders. We don't have like a dra drag and drop interface. So you can basically just start typing. Um, you probably know um, tools like, like Notion. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, has... this is like the first time I've seen a form builder look like, uh, like a Notion or a Coda. It's really interesting. Right. So it's basically like the text editor approach and you can just, you can just type um and use shortcuts to insert uh, different types of blocks so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna um create um like a sign up form for a no code ops webinar um let's say to learn a bit more about tally uh, and i can show you um yeah, using that form show you a bit how 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 the product works all right so um as i said we can just start typing so i'll just give my form um a title hit enter um, and maybe I want to add, for example, a heading that says um, building forms with Tally. That's one thing that always drove me crazy with Google Forms is like you get one title, one description, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck in that format and that's something we wanted to change. So basically you can type anything you like or insert any block you like um, and yeah. then go and, and build the form uh, from there. So cool. um, so we have like shortcut that is slash. And if you just want to insert a question, let's say we want to ask for the people's name. Um, I'm just going to do a combination of a question and an input field and say your name. Then I would also like, for example, an email address. Here we go. And so I'm assuming for things like email, you have like validation on if it's an email or not as well, right? Yeah, we don't have. Um, we don't have like rejects validation yet, so we cannot really know if it's a real email address, but it should have like the structure of a normal yeah. email address with Atom. Yeah, so that's definitely the case. Um, I'm thinking about that other part, by the way, uh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, just going to add a quick logo in here as well. I should have your logo here. Here we go. You can also add a cover image and there's a bit more customization uh, options, but I'm going to keep it simple for now. 
um, if I want to insert a page, so that's also a difference um, with other form builders. You can choose, you can have all your questions on one page, just have one long form, or you can go and split it up in pages. So all of that, all of that is up to the user uh, to decide. Um, and maybe I want to ask a bit more about um, the people that might sign up. For example, what would be their no code skills? I can use a multiple choice question for that. Um, your no code skills level. And do you all have like conditional logic between pages? So if they answer yeah. this, to this page, et cetera. Yeah, that we have. So we have calculations, uh, logic, you can jump to pages. You can also insert variables. You can pass data from one form to another. So all, all of that is is, uh, is included. Um, right. And it's also included in the, in the free, um, free, uh, that's great <laughs> so actually you can create any type of form for free um, and you can also collect unlimited responses for free and then we have the oh. tally pro subscription i'll show you in a bit um, there's some extra features um, wrapped in there um all right so i'm just gonna finish this one just showing some of the different um input types you know what would you like to learn? And then I'm gonna go ahead, add another page. And so let's say that this webinar would be paid, uh, could be, um, then I can actually also really easily insert a payment form. Uh, we work with Stripe to do that. So you would just type slash payment and then um, just saying, $29, uh, oh, so you can just like, in, like one click integration with Stripe in like the settings. Page. Yeah, you would need to here connect and then it will redirect you to Stripe. Yep. And oh, then, so you use multiple Stripe accounts for multiple different forms. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's so correct. the account is, uh, is linked for four. Yeah. That's, that's, right. um, that's correct. And then you will see it pop it up here. Here we go. I can also, for example, change the button label and say, here we go to the payments and uh, complete registration. And then to wrap it up, I would like to maybe add another page that is a thank you page. And this is basically what people would see when they have um, clicked the last button. So when the form is, is submitted and yep. then you can say, um, you know, thanks. Good question on the Stripe form. One thing that I've yeah. seen Stripe in different forms before is when it's embedded like this, um, someone can go to the next step without necessarily paying. Do you have a way of blocking that or saying like only when this form, only when this payment is complete, can they complete registration or is that just up to the user? That's it is up to the user. You could add some logic um, to say like only when the payment is 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 um, fulfilled, then you can go to the next page. Um, the the only thing is that it's still a form, um, and um, you do need to give some instructions to the user to say like okay, Got you it. do need to complete the form to complete the payment. So that that is an important one. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so I can preview the form. And this is how it would look like. You can also just continue just to see how it would look like uh, in preview. So it's very simple, very clean. Beautiful. And just gonna move this. I just love how clean it all is. Yeah, that's what we wanted to go for. Just a very calm, clean uh, look. Uh, and it's basically up to the user to create any type of form or customize it uh, as well. And once you published your form, uh, you have oh, share settings. So you can share it directly as a link. You can embed or, it. Yeah. yeah. If you want to embed it, um, you can uh, have a preview here of how it would look. You can change the height quite easily. Um, but you can also, for example, use a pop-up form. I can show you how that would look. <laughs> like I love a little, a little, <laughs> little emoji. You can choose uh, which one uh, you add. So all of that um, is possible can also, for example, show it as an overlay uh, on your website. Wow. Anything, all of this is also available for free. Um, and then maybe some settings that might be interesting. Um, let's say for our form with registration, you would want to send a follow-up email. 
to the person that has uh, registered. That's an, a feature that we also have. You can see here that's a pro feature. So that's um, included in our paid uh, package. But it also works very uh, simple. You just type add and you can mention here the I email address from the field. I hope it's really easy. This is great. Yeah. And anything, you know, you could say like, hey, uh, the name from the form and um, we can go and create uh, the email like this. So all of that um, is possible. I have, we have part quite... of the too, which is great. And then yeah. on integrations, um, which I think you were just about yeah. to go to, uh, I'm assuming you can send it to all of these places natively. Yeah, yeah, That's indeed. Great. So these are all our native integrations. We also have uh, Zapier and uh, Make, which was formerly Integromat. Um, yeah. So you can also use those to just redirect to uh, the tools that we don't have. Um, but Google Sheets, um, Notion, Slack, Airtable are the most used ones. Um, so you can um, send form responses to Notion, for example. Uh, you can also embed the forms in Notion. Uh, you can get Slack alerts whenever someone uh, fills out your form. Um, all of those also available for in the free version. Um, and then another thing that might be uh, cool to see is our custom domains feature. This is a paid feature. Um, basically, you can also connect your forms or host them on your own domain or custom uh, or subdomain. And I've added, uh, I'm just going to show you the form that we just made to demo.tally.so. So that's one of our subdomains. And uh -huh. if you open it, you can actually go and add um, custom styles. So with some custom CSS, you can also completely um, customize the form uh, and make it fit uh, your brand a bit more. So I've went ahead and did this for the form oh, that we just super made. Cool. And this is, for example, how it could look oh like. Oh my God, um, there it is! Yeah. Our new <laughs> brand too. You crushed it. <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 it's quite easy. Uh, we are looking uh, into adding more customization options without uh, code, um, because that will be a bit, bit easier for, uh, for the bigger part of our users. But right now it's available through, uh, through code injection. Amazing. And then my last question is, um, so you can send all of your submissions to different places with the integrations. That's great. Yeah. What do form submissions look like in the Tally platform? Yeah, so I'm just going to show you um do i have like this one has submissions so you would have a summary um that gives like a quick overview uh, with some graphs and then in the submissions tab you basically have the table with all the form uh, submissions lined up uh you can also download them as a csv file or you can open uh open the detail for example of one uh of one record great well, this is amazing. Uh, this is my first time like really diving uh, this deep into the platform. So thank you. Uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, with all of the features that you offer, even on the free level, um, I'm hoping a lot of our users sign up for this, especially the ones that are just living in Google form land. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been there for years myself. Um, so how can people find out more? What, what should they do for next steps? Yeah, so um, you can find us at tally.so. Uh, you can just try it out also um, actually without creating an account. So you can just start typing and create a form and see if you if you like it or not. Um, and we're quite active on Twitter as well. Uh, that's at tally forms uh, where you can find uh, yeah all our newest updates uh, and uh, ask us questions as well. Amazing. I also hear for users down the road uh, get really involved that you have the best uh, product Slack channel of all time. Someone told oh, me. Oh, that's yeah. We um, that that's the first time I hear it uh, like that. But we do. We have a Slack channel. Um, it's just uh, tally.so slash uh, Slack, and you can find our channel. And I think we have around a small thousand users in there now, and people are starting to help out each other. And we're also on there uh, every day to uh, to help you out with questions. So yeah, you can so definitely cool. join the uh, join the channel as well. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Marie, thank you so much for bringing the time. This is incredible. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around Twitter. Yeah, thank you so much for, uh, for having me. And if anyone would have any questions, I'm happy, happy to answer them. Cool. Thanks. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.